Well, thank you so much. Um, it's quite an honor, and if you'll indulge me a minute, I just want to tell a little personal story. Um, so I'm 12 years old, and it's one of those really hot, humid summer days in Missouri, which is where I was growing up at the time. And knowing I'm about to go to middle school, my father calls me over and says, come to my room, we have to have a talk. So I immediately roll my eyes and I just assume, oh gosh, it's that talk, it's the talk. And I drag my feet into his room, thinking we're gonna have this super awkward discussion about the birds and the bees. And knowing my father, he's gonna break out medical textbooks and charts and graphs galore. But my father turns to me, and this is a man who never cries, with watery eyes, and says, Eric, you're growing up, and life is about to get hard. In this country, if you want to be respected, if you want to be equal, if you want to be the same, you have to be 120% better than your peers. Because the fact of the matter is, because of the shape of your eyes, the color of your skin, and the color of your hair, you will immediately, automatically be discounted. I said to my dad, no, 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 times have changed. ML MLK, MLK Day was celebrated for the first time in 1986. Civil rights, we're all, we're all equal. But lo and behold, my, my father was right. And for most of my life, I have been trying to outrun racism with achievement. I have been chiseling away at that chip on my shoulder with academic achievement, with professional achievement, somehow magically hoping to smooth it out. March 16, 2021, eight innocent people were killed, six of whom looked like my mom, who joins us here, and she also happens to reside in Atlanta, Georgia, where the shootings happened. Four of those women were of Korean descent. The average age of those four women was 65. Just this past week, three Korean Americans were shot in Dallas, and recent evidence points to the likelihood of the potentiality of those being hate crimes. We know that during the pandemic, Asian Americans, hate crimes against Asian Americans increased 150%. Long-term unemployment for Asian Americans was the worst of any racial group, and small businesses owned by Asians were most adversely affected. We cannot outrun racism with achievement. We have to stand up. We have to activate our voices. We can't be passive, we have to fight. KCF SF is showing us an example, a great example, by protecting our most vulnerable, our elderly, those facing mental health issues, those facing food insecurity, those that lack housing or basic medical care. KECF SF is showing us that if we come together, we can stop systemic issues facing our community. That hopefully someday, when our kids grow up and they have 12 year olds of their own, that the talk will just be the talk. Thank you so much for this honor. I hope to meet many of you tonight. Thank you.